Hey guys, what's up? It's me, CCR Productions, back with another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. And today I will be reviewing the Obi-Wan Kenobi Jedi Knight version from Star Wars Episode II, Attack of the Clones. Now, on the front, just like every other Hasbro action figure, there is the clear packaging, so you can see which figure you're getting right through the front and all the accessories that come with him. On the left, just standard Star Wars Black Series figure, it says Obi-Wan Kenobi. Then... It says which number in the series he is, and there's a read up there. You could pause it now if you want to read it. On the side, same thing as the other side, and then on the front, once more. Now let's get to it. Here's the Jedi Knight Obi-Wan Kenobi action figure with all of the contents removed from the packaging. And I gotta say, this is easily in my top three, maybe even top two favorite Star Wars Black Series action figures that I own. Now to start off, like always, I will start off showing the lightsaber. There we go, that focused. The color of the blade is spot on for the prequel color, I would say. It is one of the clicky blades. And he's got the standard episode one and two lightsaber. I think that it's perfect. And unlike the Anakin episode two lightsaber, this actually does click into his belt right there and you could put it on his belt. There we go, the camera focused. Now, starting from the top down, I could start with the head, which is my only problem, basically, with the entire figure. For some reason, they put this weird gray shading in his hair, which he should have zero gray hairs in episode two, and he should have, like, a couple in episode three, which isn't even on the episode three figure at all. Although, I could understand that because the episode three figure was made years earlier, there is just those few gray spots, which is correct, except on episode two, there is supposed to be zero gray hairs. So, although there are none on his beard, but obviously the episode two figure is much better than the episode three because this figure was made in 2014, I believe. So that, that's a six year old figure. But moving down the torso, this is the exact same mold as I believe the Kit Fistu, which also came out, but I have no interest in that. Here's the back. Here's the side, and then here's the front one more time. If we move down, the boots really look great. I love how they're shiny, just like they are in the movie. I love how you could really see the different materials that each cloth is that he wears on his body, although they were obviously all plastic. So that is the Obi-Wan Kenobi Jedi Knight figure. I hope that you guys enjoyed this review. Uh, next video, I will be coming back with the Luke Skywalker action figure review. And in a few more videos, I will be doing a Lego Marvel Avengers Tower battle set review. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. This has been CCR Productions, and I'll see you guys next time.